It is Friday, September 27th. I'm Sam Cedar. And I'm Lucy Steiner. Which one of these stories will you be talking about today? And impeachment rolls on. Trump is caught on tape suggesting that the whistleblower who filed a complaint against him should be executed. Meanwhile, the chairman of the House Ways and Means Committee is reportedly sitting on another explosive whistleblower complaint, this one alleging that Trump attempted to influence an IRS audit of his tax returns. And lastly, chaos at Fox News, where management is divided over whether to stay loyal to Trump heading into impeachment. You're listening to Majority.fm's AM Quickie, and these are the stories you need to know. Donald Trump was cut on tape suggesting that the whistleblower who filed a complaint against him should be executed. The Los Angeles Times reports that the president spoke at a private breakfast in New York City on Thursday in which he likened the Ukraine whistleblower to a spy and suggested that he receive the death penalty for filing his complaint. You know what we used to do in the old days when we were smart, right? the spies and treason. Right? We used to handle it a little differently than we do now. Later on, Trump joked about staying on past 2024. I say we're looking good for another four years, and then if we want to, another four, and maybe then after that, another four. Hilarious. House Ways and Means Chairman Richard Neal is reportedly sitting on a credible and potentially explosive whistleblower complaint alleging that Trump attempted to influence an IRS audit of his tax returns. On Wednesday, HuffPost reported that a federal employee in July approached the House Ways and Means Committee with evidence the president tried to corrupt an Internal Revenue Service audit of his personal tax returns. Neal, a Democrat from Massachusetts, has refused to discuss the tax whistleblower's claims in public supposedly opting instead to use the official allegations to strengthen the Ways and Means Committee's legal effort to obtain Trump's tax returns. Neil, of course, also rejected tax returns from New York State. So this is a dubious claim on his part. Now that House Democrats are moving forward with a formal impeachment inquiry against Trump, progressive groups are beginning to demand that Neil break his silence on the whistleblower complaint and give the public as much information as possible about another abuse of power by Donald Trump. Majority.fm's AM Quickie is fueled by JustCoffee.coop. Just Coffee is a worker-owned coffee roaster based in Madison, Wisconsin, that has sponsored the Majority Report for nearly a decade. Check out their collection of fair trade roasts, including our own Majority Report blend. And regardless of what you order, receive 10% off your order when you use the code MAJORITY at checkout. And all shipping is free. That's coupon code MAJORITY at JustCoffee.coop. A new report from Vanity Fair paints a chaotic picture over at Fox News, where management is divided over whether to stay loyal to Trump or to jump ship amid the Ukraine scandal and the House impeachment's inquiry. The disruption has played out in an on-air feud between hosts Shep Smith and Tucker Carlson that reportedly ended when Fox News' president ordered Smith to back off. However, The report claims former House Speaker Paul Ryan, who joined Fox Corporation's board of directors in March, has reportedly been urging CEO Lachlan Murdoch to cut ties with Trump altogether. And even diehard Trump loyalist Sean Hannity is apparently starting to back away. Gosh, you hate to see it. Hannity reportedly told his friends that the newly released whistleblower complaint detailing Trump's call with the Ukrainian president is really bad. And now for some quicker quickies. Quicker quickie. A new morning console poll finds 43% of Americans support the start of an impeachment inquiry, up seven points from a weekend survey. The New York Times reports that Trump has decided to slash the American refugee program by almost half. The administration said it would accept 18,000 refugees during the next 12 months, down from the current limit of 30,000 and a fraction of the 110,000 President Barack Obama said should be allowed in the United States in 2016, his final year in office. Also from the Times, allies of Joe Biden reportedly concerned about his slipping poll numbers are weighing whether to mobilize a dark money super PAC and have held conversations with wealthy donors to gauge their interest in contributing dark money. A new study from Science Advances warns that severe climate-related droughts could threaten 60% of the global wheat crop by 2100. And finally, a new LA Times poll finds that Trump is on track for the poorest showing by a Republican presidential candidate in California 
since the Civil War. Quicker. Quickie. That's it, folks. Thanks for listening to Majority.fm's AM Quickie. Lucy? Thank you, Sam. Don't forget to check out the Majority Report today at noon, wherever your podcasts are found.